Hey guys, it's Jmov, and today I'm going to talk about the best cities in the USA for game. All right, the simple answer is you want to go where there's the most people. All right, this is going to allow there to be the biggest uh, selection of clubs. Um, you're going to have the most available people on Tinder. Um, you're going to be able to hit up different areas of the city so you don't run into the same people over and over again. So just really quick to give you the top 10 uh, biggest cities by population in the U.S., you have New York City, uh, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, Phoenix, Philadelphia, San Antonio, San Diego, Dallas, and Austin. All right, so my personal journey, I have spent significant time in New York City, in Phoenix, in Philadelphia, in San Diego, in Dallas, and I plan to spend some time in Austin in the future. And I've also spent a little bit of time in LA and Los Angeles. Um, so yeah, you want to, if you're, especially if you want to get lots of, you know, volume of girls and you want to really perfect this craft and really get good at this stuff, you got to live in these big cities. Okay. Outside of the U S I spent some time in London and Toronto, um, Montreal, also in China as well. Um, but you really want to be in the big cities, right? If you go to a small city, like in my hometown, for instance, you go out, there's only like two like halfway decent options on a weekend, and it's the same crowd over and over and over, right? So you're going to quickly exhaust that. Um, when you're using Tinder and stuff like that, you quickly exhaust the pool there. Um, it's just not enough leads, all right? The, the city's too small for um, doing... Uh, seduction and pickup on a, on a larger scale. So some cities that I didn't include in that top, that's just top 10 by population. So those are going to be a really good bet for you. Um, but I also spent some time in Miami that has a really high caliber of women. Um, lots of hot chicks on the beach. It also attracts lots of hot chicks to move there. Um, what else? Uh, Las Vegas. Um, that also attracts lots of hot girls. There's over 20 um, high-end nightclubs that have tons of volume. So Las Vegas is very good for training in this uh, pursuit. But you do have lots of pickup and seduction guys in Las Vegas these days. And it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is because um, lots of girls in Vegas are there for a special event, right? Like a birthday party or a bachelorette party or something like this. And they're usually from out of town. They're tourists. so And they're usually with their best friends. So the loyalty or which translates into cock blocking um, is a lot stronger there. And a lot of times the girls are more reluctant to leave the venue before the headline DJ that they came to see is on or, or until they get to stay till the end of the night because they're on vacation. Um, the friends are, you know, more actively trying to block them. And also they're not from Vegas. So, you know, they're more reluctant to leave uh, with a stranger as well. So I think that's pretty much the main list I would give. Um, I highly recommend moving somewhere like New York, um, which also has like really good day game as well. Um, you can go out in Union Square, you can go out in Times Square. Um, there's gonna be plenty of foot traffic there. Um, if you don't live in the United States, try to move to your city's capital or to one of the larger, or sorry, your country's capital or to one of the larger cities um, in your country, just so that you have a good amount of volume to work. Okay. And again, it helps to have lots of girls out on the street as well. So if you happen to know of big cities in your country where there's girls walking around all the time, um, that adds to the value of the city. Um, so yeah, I mean, th these smaller towns, if you have to be in a smaller town for, for some reason to be close to your family or something like that, it's just going to be a lot harder for you. You're going to have less options for going out during the week. There's not going to be really much going on on a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, that being said, if you can get into a college town, then it's a different story. Like college towns are actually really good for game because um, you're going to have different bars. are going to have different drink specials on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. So college towns can actually even outperform cities like New York um, during the weekdays. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, just go for a high volume of people and then um, also factor in these other cities like uh, Miami and Vegas, um, even like Scottsdale, Arizona, like, like these are cities where you just have tons of hot girls flocking. 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.